everybody, welcome back to Kristen's Decor. Today we're gonna do some um, Valentine's treats and we are gonna start with candy lollipops. I'm gonna also do some fake ice cream and make some milkshakes, some cupcakes, and do like a little candy um, bar. So we're gonna start with our clay lollipops. Um, this is gonna be what we're making today. I'm gonna quickly show you what we bought and show you how to make it. So let's get to it. So you're gonna buy some um, oven baked clay or any kind of clay that you can bake. Um, we purchased this from Family Dollar and, or I'm sorry, Dollar General, and it was two dollars and fifty cents. Um, so the baking instructions for this, um, you want to read the back of whatever you buy to make sure you go with that instructions. This is baked for 250 degrees on a glass or metal surface for 15 minutes. So we got um, white and then we got the really bright colorful ones because we want our lollipops to be big and bright and pop. You're gonna need some skewers or you can use lollipop sticks. We um, pre-cut and rolled out our dough because you wanna make it nice and soft though it's easier to work with. So we are gonna get started in making some lollipops. All right, Lex, you ready? Yep. So right here I took the white clay and then I put each color around the whole thing so that when I start rolling, each color will blend. So I got it nice and soft and then I start rolling it on the table using the palm of your hand. You wanna make sure you're not flattening it. You still want it to be round shape so when it's ready, we can twist it. So get the colors to how you want them to be and then we're going to start twisting to make those swirl looks. So you could just do that very lightly, use your two fingers and twist and twist and it's going to give you the spiral shape. Once you get it to how you want it, then we can start to roll it. So I'm just twisting it to get more of the way I want it. I want it long enough to make my lollipop into a circle. So now you start rolling it just like a snake into a circle, slow and tight. When you get to the end, you want to cut it on an angle and then place it next to the rest. Then you want to grab your skewer and gently press it through the clay until you get to the middle, to the desired spot you want it. Okay, that one is done and ready for baking. So this one, um, I wanted to do three colors because I want to make the spiral lollipop crawling up the stick. So I begin twisting Make sure your clay is soft, play with it so that it gets soft and it's easier to work with because it is really hard and like a block when you take it out. So now I'm going to get the metal, I'm sorry, the wooden skewer and we're going to start twisting it all the way around like a snake to do the spiral lollipop. So just slow and steady, wrap around and wrap around. tight and then that one is done so this is a different style and that one is ready to bake now too okay so now we're gonna get started on making our fake ice cream um, the milkshakes cupcakes um, maybe some top it off with some whipped cream like in our little mugs so I'm just going to show you quickly everything we purchased, mainly was from the dollar store and um, we'll start with, we got this uh, spackle, this is how you make the ice cream, you're going to use spackle and we're going to use paint. We got our paints from Walmart and they're the April Barrel paints, they cost 50 cents. So you want to get like a antique white for the vanilla, a light pink for strawberry, and a chocolate to make like the drizzly um, fudge. This is Mod Podge. We got this from the dollar store and we're going to use that to make the glossy chocolate syrup. 
We got some straws. Cherries. Some baked cherries for the topping. And some sprinkles. We got some cupcake holders, which were Valentine's. Some styrofoam balls to dummy fill it. We got our glass bowl from the dollar store. You want to get some Rubbermaid containers. These are two for a dollar at the dollar store to make your fake ice cream in. Um, and these are hard candies. They say kiss, hugs, and all of that stuff. And then we found some mugs at the dollar store that we're going to make our sundaes with. We got these. And we'll put some styrofoam balls so we're not using as much spackle. We'll dummy fill it and put it on top. So, um, oh, and then we got these from Walmart. I think it was like five dollars. Piping and these bags are the piping bags. So, um, we're gonna get started. So, um, we've pre-mixed to check out the texture of um, the vanilla ice cream. So, you want to add your spackle and then your paint and you want to kind of mix it to get your consistency just right. We used the antique white for that and the spackle from the dollar store. So it was $1.50. So we are going to um, start with a bowl and make an ice cream sundae and we're going to scoop it out and then we are going to decorate. So here we're going to make our ice cream sundae. So I am going to start scooping our clay, I'm sorry, spackle, smooth it out and put it in the bowl like a regular ice cream that you're making. So this um, spackle, I really like this one. It's from the dollar store. It was only a dollar and it looks just like real ice cream. I was so happy how this mixture came out. You just mix your paint with it. I'm going to now use Mod Podge and the chocolate paint and I'm creating a chocolate syrup. And I'm just going to drizzle it on here with my plastic knife just to get the chocolate and sprinkle on my sprinkles. And then I'm going to start adding the cherries for the toppings. Add some more sprinkles and then I want to place a couple more cherries and we are finished our ice cream bowl. Thought it looks super cute and super delicious. It's so realistic. I really love the way this came out. Now we're gonna make some milkshakes. So I'm painting the bottom of the glasses. That way I don't have to use so much clay and scoops of ice cream. So you might need about um, two or three layers because you don't want it to be see-through. You want to get that dark opacity. So this we're gonna use some strawberry ice cream. So. I open up the spackle, add in some of the mixture, and I'm just gonna stir this around until it gets all colored with the paint, and then this is gonna look like our strawberry ice cream. So I'm just gonna keep mixing until you get the consistency you like. You don't wanna pour too much paint in there because you don't want it to be too soft. So now I'm gonna make some ice cream in these little cute ceramic glasses we got, these little mugs. Um, I dummy fill them with the styrofoam balls, that way I don't have to use so much spackle again. And I'm going to make two sundaes with this. So I'm adding the strawberry scoops with the vanilla. And then I'm going to do my chocolate syrup again, drizzle that on. going to add the cherry and then my sprinkles. So you have a little bit of spots but you can always fill them in with more of the spackle to hide the, the gaps of the styrofoam balls. So this one I'm going to do all strawberry and I'm going to try to pile this one a little different to make it bigger. to add my chocolate syrup again. Drizzle that all around. Looks awesome. My cherry for the topper. And I'm going to use conversation hearts. These were a bet for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put all these little candies around. And I think this is so adorable. And my daughter Alexis is helping me. 
and she loves it. She said it looks so real. So we're gonna move on to the milkshake. So I ran out of spackle and I had to buy some from Walmart. It was a different brand and it was not as consistent as the other one from the Dollar Tree. I like the Dollar Tree one way better. So this one is like not forming right, so I'm gonna just smooth it out and make it like a milkshake. So I'm gonna use my hand like a whip topping and then I got some caulk and some piping bags and I'm gonna put whipped cream around. So I just swirl this in the motion with the piping bag and the caulk inside. Then I'm gonna add some toppings to this. I'm also gonna add in a little straw, so I'm gonna cut my straw in half. I'm gonna place that in. And then I'm gonna add my cherry and then some sprinkles. This came out so cute and it looks just like a strawberry milkshake. Next, I'm gonna try to make some little mini cupcakes. So I use a styrofoam ball to dummy, styrofoam ball to dummy it up, and then I take the caulk in the piping bag and just twirl it around for the icing. I'm gonna to top this with a cherry, and I'm gonna add some sprinkles. Then we are gonna make a little frappe mug. Um, so I had. Chris helped me out on this one and we just stuffed it with the styrofoam balls and we put the whipped topping and then we're going to put the straw in here, top it with a cherry and then we're going to add some sprinkles. Well, these ones we're going to do conversation hearts and we'll make another one using sprinkles. So we just picked one of each color and we're just going to push this all around to give it pop. Now these candies may bleed a little bit, but it's not going to be too bad and it's mostly going to be the back of it. Then we're going to make one more. We just filled that one with spackle and we're just doing the caulk as the icing. So you just do it in a circular motion, top it off. Then we're going to add your cherry and your straw. This one we're going to add some hot fudge. So we're going to drizzle the chocolate. Again, this is just Mod Podge and chocolate paint, acrylic paint, and you just mix it together. So to give that glossy look, it looks like chocolate. Then we're gonna add some sprinkles and then top it off with our cherry. So we are gonna finish up our um, lollipops make them into a bouquet. They um, dried after we baked them, so they are nice and hard. Um, we got this little jar from Walmart. It was $3.97. So um, I'm gonna put a piece of styrofoam from the dollar store in there, and then we're just gonna stick it to make it look nice. So Lex, you wanna start helping me um, give me the lollipops? Yep. So I decided to go back and add some tissue paper to our lollipop clay creation. I think it just gave it a, a better look, filled it up more so you don't see the styrofoam. Now we're going to make our conversation hearts. Um, we add two and a half bags of the conversation hearts to the glass container and then I cut up the roses and I'm going to add them in to make this a little candy bouquet. This is a great centerpiece very cheap and easy to do. So we're just gonna arrange the roses into the candy, which is a little tricky to shove them down, but just take your time and work them in. So once that's in, we have our cute little candy piece, and this only costs $5 to make. It is super cute and colorful. Perfect for Valentine's Day.
So we're gonna make um, a little candy sweet shop now. So what I got was um, this rustic looking um, box. This is like at Walmart for about $8.99, $10. Then we got these little wooden crates from the Dollar Tree and we painted them pink. Then on Amazon, I ordered these little containers and it was a 30 pack for $12.99. Okay, then the first set of candies, um, it was $10.99 or $11.99 and they came in, but they weren't that great of quality. I didn't like, it wasn't the same as the picture showed me, so I was kind of upset. So then I went back on and I found what I was really looking for. This was $15 and it's 100 pieces. And there are different lollipops, sugar plums, gummy bears. So I thought these really stuck out and were super cute to get that little candy shop feeling that I wanted to make. So what we're gonna be doing is filling the little jars and we're gonna create a little sweet shop. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. So now I'm going to place the little candy decor that we got into the little plastic containers to start making my sweet treat shop. So the lollipops, I put two in there. You cut the stems to fix them and I cut off the end. Now I'm going to take the loot, I'm sorry, the two pink boxes and we're going to start creating our little candy shop. So we start placing our candy filled containers and stacking them. So it looks so fun and bright. We got gummy bears, lollipops, sugar plums, you name it, it's in here and it's just super adorable. So we begin to create that. I made a little sign that says sweet shop and colored it in myself. And we have such a cute little candy shop. It turned out so great. I'm so excited about this little sweet treat shop. I hope you like it too. So here's our finished product. We decorated our fireplace with our sweet treat Valentine's decor. And we hope you enjoyed everything we made today. Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to see more. I appreciate all your love and support. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about today's video. Thank you and have a great day.